Today we'll discuss about JW Men's 2016 paper, Physics. Question number four. So students, let us solve the next question. A person trying to lose weight by burning fat lifts a mass of 10 kg up to a height of 1 meter 1000 times. So what he is doing is, is taking the mass and lifting it by 1 meter and that he does it for 1000 times. So lifting it, then again lifting it. So by lifting only, he is losing the fat and not by bringing it down. Assume that the potential energy lost each time he loads the mass is dissipated. Assuming that the potential energy lost each time he loads the mass is dissipated. The potential energy is dissipated. How much fat will he use up? Considering the work done only when the weight is lifted up. Now, <coughs> fat supplies this 3.8 tends to 7 joule of energy per kilogram which is converted into mechanical energy with an efficiency of 20 percent g is this so the basic uh, idea is when a mass m is lifted up to a height h from the ground, the potential energy is mgh. There is an increase in potential energy. So this is the increase in potential energy. So each time he has to increase this, he has to use spend energy. So this is the energy spent by the person and that energy is in the form of melting of fat. This is nothing but melting of fat that is fat is burnt. So how much fat you resolve. So this fat actually is converted to this energy and because of this energy he is able to lift this mass from here to here that is this is a gain in potential energy. So the energy provided by fat is used in potential energy. So now he says that <coughs> fat supplies this much of energy per kilogram. So, how much fat is burnt? How much fat will he use? Suppose the person uses m kilogram of fat. Uses means this much of fat is burnt. So this is the amount of fat that is burnt. So how much energy it will provide? This will provide m into per kilogram. This is the energy. So this mass kilogram, this into this. So this into 3.8 into 10 to 7 joule. This is the energy which is provided. So <coughs> now the efficiency even if uh, this is uh, used off by him but that is not used off in uh, mechanical energy. The 100% of this is not converted to this energy. Only 20% is converted. So 80% is lost somewhere. So 80% of 
this value suppose this value is i call it as a, a okay so percent of this value of m into 3.8 tends to 7 joule is lost and only 20 percent of this value is used to lift the mass thousand times to a height of one meter as in the question now that means this implies that 20 percent that means 20 divided by 100 of the total energy of burning of fat i mean this one uh, m into 3.8 10 to 7. so this much of the energy is used to lift the mgh mass m mass to i edge so this is the energy to spend it to work against the gravity so this much of work is converted is obtained from this and uh, that he does for uh, thousand times so the total this much of energy lost is converted to this and this is the mass and this mass and this mass are different mass so you cannot cancel this this m is i write suppose this is uh, this m is i write m dash okay i write m dash because you will get confused with this suppose that m dash m dash m dash m dash so this is m prime and this is a mass of fat used of this is the mass of block which is lifted okay so this is the mass of the muscle a fat and then the mass of the block or weight that is to be lifted up and that mass is given as 10 kilogram so now i will write this as 2 by 10 into 3.8 into 10 to 7 into m dash equals to 10 into g is 9.8 in the question this is 9.8 into height is 1 meter to 1000 so you have to solve this to get the value of m dash so from here uh, i will to okay this is 10 to 6 to i will uh, for approximation i will take this as also 10 for a calculation you can also take this as 10 because you have to get the option from here you need not have to calculate the exact value okay you may get suppose 9.9 .9 by exact calculation or 10 then if you are getting 10 then this is the answer so you have to by that way you save your time so i'll take 10 here so it is 1000 and this to 10 is to 5 here it is 10 is to 7 so this will cancel out and gives you 10 is to 2 here 1 2 3 4 5 so 2 here so i'll write 2 and 1 goes so 10 is there so so 38 into 2 into and as equals to 1 so from here because this is how you simplify the calculation and you are getting m dash equals to 1 by 76 now this is the kilogram so if i see the option 1 by 76 is not there then you have to convert this in terms of the power of 10 the power all the power is 10 to minus 3 here so therefore i will solve like this this equals to 10 to minus 3 into 10 to 3 divided by 76 that you can do so this i will get 1000 multiplied 1000 divided so this you have to solve if you solve this 
then it is 76 even if you take 75 there is no problem I will take 75 so if you solve it approximately I will write this is 1000 divided by 75 this I will I'm doing it to save time because 76 division is a bit difficult but 20, 75 is easier so what I will get let us see by this way how far close we are to the exact answer or the options given this is 1000 divided by 75 into 10 raised to minus 3 this is if I 25 then it is uh, 25 3 is 75 then 25 4 is 100 so it is 40 so it is uh, 40 divided by 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 this is easier to calculate and obviously it is the uh, around 13 point something 13 point something I will not write something this is around 13 and 10 raised to minus 3 sorry 3 so if I see the option by this way I am getting around 13 10 raised to minus 3 if I see the option then this is near to the correct option so option number 4 is correct here it is 12.89 10 raised to minus 3 kilogram is the option number 4 so this way if I round off this then also I will get 13 so 13 into 10 raised to minus 3 kilogram so this way we save time otherwise what you would have done is you should have gone for this calculation of 9.8 here in place of 1 you should have got 0.98 you should have got 0.98 otherwise what should you have got it is 0.98 divided by 76 otherwise you have to you should have gone for this calculation 0 0.98 divided by 76 this calculation if you do that you will get obviously get what 12.89 into 10 to minus 3 but then you can see imagine how much time will waste so don't go for this type of calculations just solve it manipulate this and then also you will get the answer so this is the amount of fat that is used of so therefore option number 4 is the right option ok thank you